What is going on, you beautiful human beings? Welcome. My name is Kieran, aka Pastor Scar. We are getting back in to another video. We're going to hit play on this one immediately because you need to see what's going on behind me. All right. This was a clip from our live stream. So you can see a little play bar down there. It's only highlighted a little bit of it because that's what we're going to watch today. This is direct from our live stream just from yesterday. And you get to watch it today because it was a fun gameplay. We had a challenge and the challenge was to try and uh, well, literally beat one of the challenges in the game, which is to get five limbs in a top 14 placement. Sounds pretty doable. It came very close, got very sketchy, but I won't ruin the ending for you. It's a good one. Make sure you keep watching and I'll randomly put the volume up here and there so that you can hear the gameplay at times and I'll get myself out of the way. Look, I'm gone and there's me live. And here's me now. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> All right, let's uh, get back over to the bottom left corner. So it's not super distracting for you. All right. With all that being said, I have some updates for you. It's been a while since I've done one of these life updates. And I'll tell you why. Because I've been in bed. No, not sleeping. I have had COVID-19. Awful thing to have. Both my wife and I got hit with the vid, and um, it was it was pretty rough. But it was off the back of an incredible weekend. I got to meet some of you guys face to face, which was amazing, at an event called PAX, biggest gaming event in the Southern Hemisphere. PAX is insane. It's over fifty thousand people per day. Myself and a bunch of other Twitch partners got to hang out a whole lot as well. Often getting back to our hotel room at two three in the morning just because the conversations were so so good i loved it honestly for those of you that i got a chance to meet for the first time or that i got to see again thank you for saying hi thank you for being so warm and hospitable i had a great time i hope you did as well pax was phenomenal and i cannot wait for next year in fact we literally got to hang out with tb thunder as well you guys know toby he edits our nf reaction videos one of those coming out soon by the way so stay stay in the loop but um we got to hang out with toby he stayed with us for the weekend got to like i said meet a whole bunch of people do a whole bunch of things it was a fantastic time then after that we get home and within 24 hours of being home i'm like my throat feels a little scratchy and then all of a sudden sarah is like i don't feel so good sarah got sick before i did her symptoms kicked in hard but for me, I was fine for a day or two, and then it got worse right after that. So it was one of those things, right? What, what are you going to do? You go to an event with over 50,000 people, it's kind of bound to get a little sketchy, and it absolutely did. I think there's a player here. Yeah, there is. So let's just jump into that. Oh, we got a player. Sorry, rabbit. GG's. And that is a done RPG deal. RPG out here making plays. Rabbit. What does this one do? Gonna get sat down. I decided to go for an RPG shot, and I'm glad I did. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. We're gonna uh, keep that going in the background. Very basic a limb there, but hey, it counts. That is one step closer to the five that we needed for this challenge. And uh, like I said, it gets very, very close to the wire on that challenge. So keep an eye on it. All right. So anyway. We get home, Sarah starts feeling unwell. I then a few days later start feeling unwell. And like, I've had COVID before, right? Had it once before. Um, also coming back from Melbourne, by the way, to anyone watching this from Melbourne, what are you guys doing? Why do you keep giving me COVID? Like, can you not? Can you, can you just like chill? That would be fantastic. But um, yeah, got back and uh, was feeling okay at first. Then it quickly went downhill. And like I said, I've had COVID before, but this time it hit hard, dude. On the Wednesday, I was in bed literally the whole day. I got up to like go to the bathroom and try and get something to eat. And that was it. Other than that, I'm just in bed the whole day. I was a write off, man. I was supposed to stream Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. You know how many of those I streamed? Zero because I, I just I just couldn't didn't have the energy was not able to do so. I was just way too sick. Now, thankfully, I am now feeling a okay bit of the COVID fatigue is still there. You know what I mean? So, you know, it, I, I get tired a little bit quicker, that kind of thing. But other than that, I'm good. I'm not coughing. I'm not, you know, I'm sleeping well. 
I'm eating well. I'm looking after myself, which is very good. So thank you to everyone for the kind messages. I know I got a number of those via Discord, people in our server, um, people on the socials that, you know, heard that I was unwell and dropped me a little, hey, we're praying for you kind of message, which is so lovely. So thank you so much for that. But that was that. Was that. So it went PAX, which I didn't get to update you on, but now I've given you a, a quick update. Um, straight into being sick and now there is something very very big happening this week slash tomorrow that you need to know about but also um you might be like hold on pastor scar he's the guy that gives us story time we love story time with pastor scar we love hearing about all these things in detail well guess what um i'm going to do you one better all throughout packs i was recording things on my phone so that i can put together a little packs highlight video and i will then commentate over it the way that i'm doing right now so that you can see everything you need to see and know everything you need to know about packs and so that's going to be coming up i was planning on doing that as soon as i got home only i then got sick and so obviously bailed on that plan i'm gonna jump back into the gameplay so you can just watch this encounter because there's a player above me i did not like that that guy was looking at me but that's the katana guy i'm gonna try and land on him Wait, do they seriously just drop it? Why? Cracked? Oh no! Um, apparently that's not the button. Apparently that wasn't the button. So I almost just <laughs> wasted myself right there. So at this point, at I this point to... in the gameplay, um, my face cam is in the wrong spot. It's supposed to be here where I'm talking now. So you can see my health bar. Instead, it's down there. So one of the viewers will tell me in a moment and I'll move it up and you'll see. But that got me very, very weak. Like... I tried using the katana. I clicked the wrong button thinking that's how I launched myself and I didn't. And it was the wrong button. I fell, took a bunch of fall damage. It was almost a very awkward way to end this challenge match. Also, the player that um, that was that I was shooting at apparently was one of our viewers. I didn't know. And I appreciate that I was going for a challenge match and they didn't actually end up feeding me in a limb there. So I, I earned this one. I earned this one, which is good. I got them very tagged up, but they managed to get away and I don't think I end up seeing them again. But nonetheless, there it is. This one was weird because it looked like I was being teamed on because there's two different players here. There's that one. And then there's also a player behind me. I'll just put the volume up on that real quick. Why are there two? Why I'm are there two? so weak at this point like very weak i'm i'm like, popping did I just get teamed on or what? whatever heals i can do you guys see that there was two of them there and they weren't fighting each other yeah they literally didn't shoot at each other but they just shot at me and um that was that thankfully my my shots here are pretty decent i'm getting tags on people out of the air doing exactly what we need to do anyway i'll leave that as some background footage for you once again so like i said um we're going to be doing a pax video so you can see some of the friends that i got to meet you'll be able to see us hanging out we went for dinner with some people that you might even know if you're in the fortnite world a guy um named overstrand a guy named vinduli some friends of ours jack and foz we had um you know grumbly have dinner with us one night we had there was there was a lot of people jess an absolute legendary friend that we just met like there was just a bunch of people that we got to meet and hang out with and it was it was honestly such a great time you'll see all of that in our next video or the the packs video so i'll save that one for the time being all right so all that being said there is something coming up tomorrow that you need to know about it is very exciting and it's a little thing as i just quickly win that fight done it's a little thing called scars duo knockout and if you haven't heard of scars duo knockout i as pastor scar have been hosting fortnite tournaments for over five years now 
So ever since I started streaming, with the first tournament being $100 cash that we split three ways, and when I say cash, I mean the guy who came third, I literally saw him in person and handed him three $5 notes because it was 15 bucks for third. Like, that's where it all started over five years ago. Super basic, super simple, and we would do these Fortnite tournaments. Now they've evolved a little bit. They've grown in prize pool. They've grown in viewership. Our channel and our community have grown, but we're still running these tournaments. And the next one is tomorrow. So by the time you see this video, literally tomorrow, I'll be giving out $1,200, $1,200. Hundred dollar e dues for free to people that jump in and play with us. And here's the best part for those of you watching at home that are like, "But Pastor Scar, I don't even play Fortnite." Guess what? You don't have to, because a hundred dollars of that is going to the viewers. So all you need to do is watch the stream. That's it. You just show up when I'm live and you watch. And I'm going to be giving away four different twenty-five dollar giveaways throughout the stream via a little thing that we like to do called marbles races and it's going to be a lot of fun so our sweaty fortnite gamers they're going to be earning eleven hundred dollars of the twelve hundred prize pool and you guys oh i mean some of you are sweaty fortnite gamers as well of course but you know for those that just want to sit back relax sit with some popcorn and and chill you might even make a hundred bucks in the process so how good is that now that's happening tomorrow we've already had a few of the qualifier matches and we've had some storylines man there was one duo in particular which i think was a fantastic storyline where one guy um his name is black beauty and he signed up for our tournament and he registered with an amazing young lady named sienna so he puts in sienna as his duo he signs up sienna then reaches out and goes hey um that I don't know why he signed me up because I'm playing with someone else. So, you know, can we cancel that rego? So next thing you know, Black Beauty doesn't have a duo. He then grabs someone and goes, you know what? We're going to have to be a duo because Sienna has got her own duo. So Black Beauty and Sienna part ways. Sienna gets a duo. Black Beauty gets a duo. We then put every player, every duo. There's 21 competitors, right? Oh, sorry, there's 42 competitors. There's 21 teams competing. We get all of them every single one and we put them in a randomly generated bracket so someone's gonna verse someone at some point kind of thing and lo and behold by pure coincidence and nothing more round one match black beauty with his new duo sienna and her new duo versing each other as a round one qualifier match that is crazy you can't make those storylines up and we got to watch it happen live it was actually a really good what 2v2 as well like they did an amazing job honestly like it black beauty and duo ended up winning it but even though the score line was 3-1 3-1 honestly does not explain it because it was so much more than that like legitimately it was a phenomenal game and i'm really proud of both of them but there were some close rounds there there was some some comebacks there was a round where um either eric or sienna got beamed off the start i don't remember which one like while they were flying in they got beamed and they still came back to win the round there was a round where black beauty was in a 1v2 scenario so his teammate had already gone down and he still had somehow clutched the round like it was just all around good times, good vibes, and a great start into what will be an incredible weekend. Now, as you can see, the uh, camera feed has now changed. So I will move up to there so you can now see my health bar, which you weren't able to see earlier. So you can properly see the rest of this game. 10 players remaining. And again, five of limbs was what we said we needed. And we are currently on three. So we need two more limbs for this challenge to be complete and there's only nine people left because one of those is me so there's only nine people left to get those remaining two limbs will we get it you'll find out won't you so anyway there we were in tournament mode we play these qualifying matches we're good to go and now tomorrow is the official start so when is the question when is this tournament tomorrow morning 10 a.m sydney time so i don't know what time zone you're in as you watch this but just google 10 a.m sydney time and it'll come up saying what time it is for you or 10 a.m sydney time for me would, would work for you and it'll come up it'll show you what time it'll be all you then need to do is make sure you show up on twitch.tv forward slash pastor scar there'll be a link in the description box below where you can go ahead 
hang out with us. And uh, like I said, you could earn a hundred bucks. You could watch other people, including Black Beauty, who I just mentioned, playing um, for, you know, the, the lion's share of $1,200. It's going to be a fantastic time. I highly recommend it. It's going to be super fun. And uh, yeah, one of our many tournaments. So I'm very much looking forward to that. I hope you are as well. With that being said, there's only nine players left. So I think I'm going to get out of the way and just let you watch the rest of this gameplay with full audio and everything else. Um, because I am literally moving towards gunfire because I know that I need two more limbs and I don't want to risk it. So I am like anywhere where i'm seeing a player i'm just moving towards them at this point because more than winning the game i'm uh, sorry more than winning the game i'm trying to get that challenge done so there you go all right enjoy that it'll be on in the background i love you all thank you for hanging out with us god bless you guys god loves you guys and so do i and as always my friends k love you bye and regarding the secret word it's going to be in the video this time so good luck have fun you might hear it if you pay attention see you soon k love you bye Bye. Who else is here? I heard the shooting. Let's get in this. The lobby is clearing out, man. I need more of these limbs. Oh, hello. Done. Sorry, Anonymous. All right, there is definitely a player up there. Okay, we've already got that. We got four limbs, we need five. I thought there was a player on that roof before. So there might still be. At least this guy's not giving my spot away this time. For like the first time ever. Could just head into zone. What's up to Dank? How you doing, brother? He's gliding. Do I ditch the snipe is the question, but I'm going to stick with it. Let's see if we can third party this. Hmm, someone gliding ahead. Don't love my position. Let's try and get to this bush. Oh, never mind. I think there's someone in that bush. Wait, where did it go? What what just happened to the bush? That was weird. Did did I just like faint? There was a bush and I shot someone in it. And then there wasn't a bush. Did you guys see what I saw? Do not tell me you're teaming. Um, what? That's me. Why are you shooting at me? 110. Moving in.
Dude, my NPC is so annoying. Just casually throwing EMP grenades. All right, we gotta go zone. Come this way. Stop. If I die because of my NPC, I'm gonna be so upset. I want four limbs and I need five. Like the challenge was to get the five limbs. Is that a play? No. And my NPC is dead. Fantastic. Please, please, I need one bullet. Oh my. He got third partied. I didn't get that a limb. All I need is five. And this fifth one is getting real tricky. And I know there's someone looking at me. I just don't know where from. GG's only, fam. GG's only. Let's go. <laughs> we did it! We had a challenge. It got sketchy part way through there. Not gonna lie. But at the end of the day, we needed to clutch and we clutched. And we even picked up a cheeky crown at the end. So I just like hiccup and burped at the same time. What do you call that? Hick burp? Burp up? I don't know, but... GG's new YouTube vid right there. Absolutely. And hey, if you watched until this point, the secret word is potassium. So first person to write that in the comments down below will earn some potassium. I don't know how I'm going to give you that, but enjoy. God bless. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in our next YouTube video. And as always, my friends, K-Love you. Bye.